Hi, welcome back. Uh, today we will be talking about laser collimating your Bird Jones telescope. Uh, first, I wanted to go in to explain what a Bird jo uh, Jones telescope is, or uh, some people call it a Jones Bird, Bird Jones. They will interchange those uh, two uh, words interchangeably. Um, this is uh, one of my telescopes. It's a Newtonian reflector telescope. This one is from Mead Instruments. It's their 130 millimeter, uh, the Star Navigator NG series. Um, so, what is a Bird Jones telescope? Well, um, it's a slightly different flavor from the regular reflector telescopes out there. Um, what it basically means is that there is a corrector uh, optic lens at the very bottom of the focusing tube. Um, which will actually just slightly correct some of the uh, optics of the telescope. Some people will refer to it as a Barlow lens. That's kind of what it does. Um, and it basically allows the telescopes to be a little more compact. Um, and another thing that you really won't notice a huge difference in, especially when you do use these because of the corrective optics, is the primary mirror is uh, spherical instead of parabolic. What does that mean? Well, Wikipedia is a great resource. Look it up. Uh, anyway, uh, one problem with this, because of that little corrector uh, lens, is that you cannot use laser collimators to collimate your telescope. That's actually what we're going to be talking about today. I'm going to actually walk you through the process of what you want to do how you want to do it uh, so that you don't actually cause any damage to your telescope but also so that you can properly collimate your telescope whenever it needs collimation and still be able to reassemble your telescope properly. Alright, let's get started. The back side of the focusing knob uh, you will find these screws that are actually holding on the focuser and what you'll want to do is take a screwdriver approximately the right size and unscrew each screw. You will not want to use an exacto knife, a knife, or even a sword. None of these options will work as good as the screwdriver. Once done, you want to remove the back cap along with this little metal piece that actually put will put tension on the focuser so that you have a more smooth focus and set them aside. Remove the focuser and then the focusing tube assembly will slide out. Once you've removed the focusing tube assembly uh, flip it upside down so that the optical element is facing up and you will notice that this ring that holds the optical lens in place has two little notches on either side and you can actually use that to loosen it up till it comes out. You'll want to set this aside so that you don't lose it and then very carefully you'll want to take a microfiber cloth Put it over the lens and let it fall out into your hand. You'll want to cover this up and set it aside, remembering which direction it goes into the assembly so that you can properly put it back when the time comes. Now that you've reassembled the scope without the optic, You'll want to take your laser collimator, uh, turn it on, and insert it, tighten it, and begin collimating by using these three screws here, and also the screws on the back. First, you'll want to adjust the ones here up front so that the laser pointer is pointing to the center of the primary mirror in the back. Do the exact same thing here until the laser 
is pointing right at the bullseye in the collimator. Uh, generally, I'll turn this around so that it will be facing me while I'm working on the back. That way, I can actually see the bullseye and see what I'm doing. If you don't remove the optic from the focusing assembly before you try to laser collimate, uh, this is one of the things that you can expect um, when trying to laser collimate. This is usually what you will end up seeing. Uh, I put it on with the with the optics still in just so you could see that it will not be remotely accurate at all when trying to collimate. When you're all done with your laser collimation, you'll just want to reassemble your telescope exactly how you took it apart, and your telescope will be good to go for observing. And that's how it's done. Uh, I will leave a link in the description below where you can find a laser collimator like the one used in this video, and hopefully we'll see you on the next video. Have a great day.